Pat and I are out. We're driving. You can see the road conditions. We're gonna uh, take you on a road trip. Try to give you a couple pointers, couple tips. Everybody will probably tell you something different. I've been doing this for a long time, like many other drivers. Road conditions here aren't too bad. Uh, there's some salt down. Temperature's 19 degrees. Show me the temperature. 19 degrees. Um, there's a little slush, a little mix, because they've treated some of these roads. Sometimes that's not always a good thing, but sometimes it is. Um, but you still got stopping power. We can stop and go for. Uh, we can make a pretty easy stop. It's more like wet right now. But then you get over here and you've got ice to, and, and snow. Uh, not really snow, it's just ice starting to break up a little bit. Uh, and then you get on 36. And of course, the driving lane is clean, wet. But the passing lane is, uh, is ice covered. With the temperature being 19 degrees, it's not too, uh, too, you know, slippery even on the ice. We're going to take you on some ice because Highway C has only been treated partway and then the rest is just a sheet of ice. So we're going to drive down that. We just got some Goodyear tires on. I'll, I'll maybe take a picture in a, in a little bit. But uh, as you can see, if you slide off the road today, they're not coming to get you and tell you, tell you out. They're just going to leave your car there and mark it. So, it's not a good thing. If you can't drive or don't feel comfortable driving, don't drive today or days like this. It's just not worth it. This guy rolled over. You know, uh, help is going to be slow to respond because they can't travel at the speeds they normally travel at because the roads are this condition. And then if you get off onto, uh, you know, some of the back roads, which are even slipperier, um, and even though the gravel roads are, are pretty good, they're still slippery at Pat and I found out this morning earlier. We didn't have the video rolling for that little uh, trip, but uh, probably should, it'd be nice to have a, a road cam today. Um, but he's taping from my iPhone. So as you can see, we can, we can travel, we travel road speed or just regular speed, but you couldn't pass anybody today without getting yourself uh, in a little bit of difference. Now notice as we go to get off, there's nobody behind me, so I'm just going to stay in this lane because that lane has ice on it. Show them this, see that lane's got ice. Okay, and then when you want to make this corner, you just want to kind of ease into it. They treated this last night. Uh, they had a school bus go off and they came down and he kind of treated it down the middle of the road. So it's not too bad, but you can see it didn't do a whole lot because it was just a salt sand mix. It wasn't a 100% salt mix, uh, so you've got a little bit of traction. We're running 40 miles an hour, not too bad, um, not too slippery. Uh, you know, it is still, you know, like right here, it didn't do much at all. I can feel the tires, you know, slipping a little bit, but not, but not too bad. Uh, and as you, as you come, to, we'll go down this road. It's a, you know, five mile trip, so. Stay with us. Um, notice the windows are clean on the car. One of the things I do is I always keep my fan on high uh, to keep, you know, especially when it's raining, sleeting, or snowing, and then I'll turn the temperature down. But that keeps that windshield warm, and uh, so uh, you know precipitation doesn't stick to it. There's still a little fine mist coming down. Uh, you'll see every once in a while uh, we'll run into little periods of it. Um, which is which is why we're still getting some icing and it, it just covering up the, the treatment they get down. As you can see these roads, the salt broke it up a little but not too much. Then we came down here last night, we came down with chains on, I had chains on all four tires. Uh, you can still see some of my tracks, but uh, uh, this is where it gets kind of tricky is up here. So as you're coming up, you're approaching hills, 
you know, try to keep your foot off the brake. Just slow down before you get to the hill. When you get to the corner, slow down. If you got a corner like this, I like to kind of dive. If nobody's coming, I look kind of, you got to be aware of your surroundings. I kind of dive down to give myself a little room in case I start pushing to the outside a little bit. You don't want to hit your brake in the corner of that because what will happen is you'll slide sideways. Okay. Alright, you recording? Alright, so last night here's the the fire truck almost went down here. And if you watch the car when it hit the brakes, it wants to go sideways towards the low side of the road, go towards the slide of the low road. Even if you spin a little bit, it'll go towards the side. As you can see here, this is where the heavy so it worked a little better. Bus was off this side, there was pickup off this side, off the left side. And as we go up the hill, uh, you know, this is where he salted and treated to. And then you can see the treatment stops right here. Okay, so this is all just ice. He came up, he might have come up to this road and turned around last night. I don't know. There's a little treatment here, but not much of anything. And then it just goes to back to ice. So if anything, he turned up the top of the hill and came home. Yeah, that's what it looks like what he did. Um, I, I don't know where he treated to. Look at this Mustang over here. He went off yesterday. They're not coming to get him anytime soon. He rolled in them. I don't know how he managed to do that and how fast he got going. But he managed to roll it. Now as I go down here, I just kind of go to this side and then I, I kind of, what they call, you know, uh, you know, straighten out the corners a little bit. So it, it doesn't... Uh, doesn't give me too much issue. Now you can see they treated this up here a little bit. I don't know why they didn't come all the way down to our road unless they just started doing this because ours wasn't treated up to our house this morning. So I don't know. He turned around. Yep, yeah, that's where he turned around. Okay, now we're on ice. Okay, so now you can see we're on ice. I'm doing 30 miles an hour, which is probably too fast for most people. But one thing you cannot do on ice, I'm going to tell you this a bunch of times, don't hit your brakes. Pay attention and don't, you know, when you're, I, I'm driving an automatic, so when it shifts down, it's going to want to kick your tires a little. But you can't hit your brakes. See this corner, how it slides down? If I hit my brakes right now, I'm sliding into the ditch. So you don't hit your brakes. You just stay in the middle and you keep going, keep your foot on the gas, just easy. You don't have to be hard. But this is a sheet of ice. <clears throat> a sheet of ice. You can see there's a little bit of snow blowing around on it now. But this, this is nothing but ice. And you know, deep ditches either side. If I hit the brakes, I'm going into the ditch. But if you just kind of stay on the middle because most highways crown, so if you're one side or the other, you feel the car kind of leans that way. Even if I stay in the middle, if I can hit the brakes, I might not slide to one side or the other. It might give me a little opportunity. Now when I come up to the top of the, hole, the hill, I can't really see who's coming. So I'll get over, but then I'll get back in the middle because this is, this is just pure ice. And so you can't, uh, uh, you can't mess around with it. You, you can't hit your brakes. <laughs> I'll probably say that, you know, two dozen times. You can't hit your brakes because it, 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 you lose control of your vehicle once you hit your brakes. Once your wheels are locked, your car is going to go where it wants to go and, and not the way you're pointing. If you watch most videos, car crashes, and, and, and stuff like that, once they've locked up their brakes, they have no control. Especially the winter weather driving, you can get on YouTube and you can see people that are going down the hill and they hit their brakes. And they can turn the wheels whatever way they want. They're not going in the direction their the wheels are turned. They're going in the direction that the car is going to want to slide in. So it's going to want to go to the lowest point or the direction of your your momentum. So if you're going faster, it's going to want to go, you know, just straight. So you can turn your wheels and you're not going to go straight. Uh, I mean, you're not going to, you're not going to turn. You're going to go straight. It's going to follow either your momentum or the the the, uh, the slide of you know the. Uh, momentum of your slide or the, the angle we get 
we're getting closer to home, but see, I, it's, it's 18 degrees now, so it's getting even colder. But when it's 18 degrees, you have a lot more traction than when you have, <clears throat> when the temperature's like 27 to 32 or, or above. I mean, the ice gets slippery because it gets a layer of water on it. Or the, the warmer your tires get, the slipperier it gets. So you just, you just have to be careful. So just kind of watch, pay attention, and, and maybe there's a few temp, tips in here. But the best thing you can do is, for me, like today's day, like, like today. See, I've got a turn there, so I just ease to slow down and then a turn. But if I hit my brakes, I'm not turning anymore. It's just going to slide off the edge of the road. So just be careful when you're out there driving. It's not worth it. Especially in winter weather, your response time, if you injure yourself, is uh, it takes them a lot longer to get to you. And if you're not injured, it's going to be even longer. So just be prepared, you know, have some stuff in your car, have hats, gloves, have maybe a little water to drink. The better you're prepared, the less you have to fear. The slower you're going, the less your, your wreck's going to be too, the less chance you're getting injured. If you're going fast and you slide off the road, you're going to be injured more. Anyway, so this is the car we are driving in. As you can see, just a Goodyear tire, Vortex. You can see not, uh, they're siped well. Seem pretty good traction, I like them. I'm uh, more of a Michelin guy. I like the Arriva tire on the ice for Michelins. It's a really good tire. Won't have any problems. I probably left out a few things on driving, but you know, uh, get out, you know, somewhere where you feel safe and practice some. You know, winter weather is it, it's important that you practice and, and enjoy the weather, but enjoy your driving. The slower you go, the safer you are, you know. But if you get out and practice and feel your car slide, you'll know better when you're actually traveling. Uh, but just getting places that are you're not going to go into a deep ditch or you know if you look out here in our driveway out on the road there's no ditches on either side so worst you can do is slide a little bit but practice stopping hitting the brakes get used to your anti-lock brakes a lot of people try to pump them or do something you just hold anti-lock brakes it'll stop you these cars will pretty much drive themselves if you just take your time so try to not fear it so much uh it, it usually speed is the thing that'll get you in winter weather uh because that builds up momentum and once your car starts sliding there's no coming back from it a lot of times sometimes you can pull it out but you you got to have a lot of practice a lot of skill so anyway i hope you enjoyed our road trip